Brandon Amphitheater is about to begin its sixth season in business with a number of big acts already announced. The likes of Leonard Skinner, James Taylor, Luke Bryan. For operators, they're hoping for another year of boosting sales tax revenues in this area because of this site. Jake's is a Brandon restaurant, seeing a jolt to its business when a concert comes to town. It just, you see an impact right at the, uh, at the start. Doty and Don Sullivan say the numbers are dramatically different when the Brandon Amphitheater brings in a show. If it's a, a weekday night, like Thursday night, or uh, say a Tuesday night concert, it's drastic. It's, 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 drastic. it's more than double. It's, it's more than double. And the client base is not just from the central Mississippi area. New numbers for the city of Brandon reveal that 47% of credit card purchases for concert tickets at the amphitheater last year came from out-of-state customers. It's that age-old story of a rising tide raises all ships. So, in a sense, it's helping Madison County, it's helping Rat uh, Hines County, I'm sure, you know, from Meridian to Vicksburg is helping the I-20 corridor here in central Mississippi. Brendan Mayor Butch Lee says the amphitheater has also hosted Christmas light shows and gumbo cook-offs, events that have also bolstered city coffers. But eight concerts in the month of August last year alone spiked the city collections, and those numbers were evident just a few months later when the tax collection numbers are counted. Well, I see a 23% increase in October to October, year over year, obviously those all those people coming to Brandon, Mississippi in the month of August had a financial impact with their sales tax numbers. A number of big acts have been announced. There could be more on the way, but the first one slated to take the stage here will be Co Wetzel April 8th. In Brandon, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News. <laughs>